Welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at problem 44. It is from chapter 22 of College Physics 2E by OpenStax. In this problem, we need to calculate the magnetic field strength. We have the number of turns. It's a square loop. We know how much each side is, the length of the side. Uh, we know it's going to be a maximum torque, and we know the current. All right, so let's start with making a list of what we know. Okay, we know it. It's 200 turns, so N is 200. It's a square loop. We'll use S for side. 20 centimeters, so it's a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter square loop. Uh, we know the torque is going to be maximum, and that's 300 newton meters. It's maximum, so that means theta is 90 degrees. And then we have the current I as 25.0 amps. And we are looking for magnetic field. Okay. Torque is the number of turns times the current times the area of the loop times the magnetic field times the sine of theta Theta is the angle between the magnetic field and the perpendicular to the plane of the area. Okay? And so to make torque maximum, that angle needs to be 90 degrees. Because sine of 90 is 1. Okay, we also know it's a square loop, so the area will be S squared. Okay, we want this equation to say B equals... So we're going to take the torque and divide it by everything that's multiplying the B. So we have the N, the I, the A, and the sine of theta. And then when we calculate the area, we can um, tuck in the uh, side squared. Okay, so let's go straight for the numbers. Torque is 300 newton meters. Number of turns is 200. Current is 25 amps. We'll use S squared for A. We've got 20 centimeters. We need to convert that. One meter is 100 centimeters. We need to square all of that. Okay. And then we have the sine of 90, which is just going to be 1. I did that calculation, and it gave a magnetic field of 1.50 Teslas. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or there are other problems you'd like to see. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.